What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy Hub Day. So it's Tuesday night for me. By the time you see this video, it'll be Wednesday. So what are we going to talk about today? How many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fragrance suggestions. Now what these are, are seven fragrances that I love to wear when it's that tween season. And what I mean by that is, if you live in the Southeast, it's still hot. I don't know about the, the East Coast or places like that, but hold on. Gotta clean my glasses. In the Southeast, it's still hot. Now, it does cool off a little bit at night. I am anxiously awaiting big boy season, a hoodie season, but gotta wait just a little bit, but it's coming. These are fragrances that I think do good in that transition because it may be 80 degrees, 90 degrees in the daytime, and then it may be 60, 65 degrees at night. And some of you, to some of you, that may be cool. Maybe you're riding a bicycle or a motorcycle, or maybe you, you know, work in a warehouse with the doors open. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. But these are some fragrances that I like to wear in that transitional season where it's still hot in the day, cools a little bit at night, but you know, I think these will help or these will get that job done. So now that I got my eyeballs clean, and y'all ain't gonna believe this, man. Man, that dude from JB Butters, I ain't even gonna say his name, we just gonna call him. <laughs> Mr. J.B. Butters was picking on me today, talking about I can't see. He ain't had to call his brother out like that, but he, he right. Dude. But anyway, this one, this first one. Oh, be sure to like, share, and sub, if at all possible. Please and thank you. This next one leans more probably for a cooler, cooler night. More so than anything, that's when I reach for it the most, and it is... I'm not sure if it's discontinued. I know it's been reformulated from the house of Theory Mugler, I think is how you pronounce that. And it is a man. And this is a beastly, just a squirt, beastly, beastly fragrance. I also have Cuba's version of this. What is it? Is it Cuba Gold? Cuba Prestige Gold, maybe? And it is beastly as well. What I normally would do when I was wearing the two is I would layer myself when I was wearing this fragrance, I would spray this one on before I left the house and then maybe take the Cuba with me. And just before I got out of the car, again, this is a cold, cold night, I would hit myself with the Cuba because it's a little bit uh, less dense, but maybe just a tad bit sweeter. So, but, um, amen. Very Mugler's amen. It's, and what you got from, with this bad boy whew, is a sweet, rich, strong powerhouse of a fragrance. I happen to like this fragrance. When it first came out, um, a lot of people were clamoring about it and trying to get it and wanted to have it in their collections. But then fragrances like this suddenly became, um, I don't want to use the word obsolete. So let's just say less desired. Personally, I like them. I think they smell good. I think they work good. That sweet coffee, smoky, burnt type of vibe, I like. And this is one that I like. And I like to put this on on a cool rainy night or a cool night when I'm going to a high school football game late October when it finally starts to cool off at night in the southeast and put this on. It smells good. Preferably a dark colored hoodie as well because I like to match my scents with my wardrobe. So normally <laughs> we'd be wearing something brown or black or burgundy or red, one of the darker tones with this. I wouldn't put this on with anything bright or vivid. I would go dark with this, but whew, strong. I like it. From the house of Fairy Mugler, it is a man. That is definitely one that I would wear again. More of the nighttime. A little bit later in this transition period, but this one I would pick up. This next one is from the house of Giorgio Armani, and it is from the Aqua de Jo line. Can you guess which one it is? It is absolute. It is absolute, and I love this fragrance.
That's good. That's really, really good. That's really, really good. I like it. I like it. And here's what I like about it. It's, it's clean. It's fresh. But it has a bite. A bite of citrus that runs through the fragrance. And it's not overpowering. It's very smooth and, and subtle. But it has something about it. And it has a little bit of a boozy accord to it, but it doesn't come across like it smells like booze or anything like that. I, I just like this fragrance right here. That's nice, man. That is nice. I could see this being worn anywhere from spring all the way till it starts to really get cold. I wouldn't necessarily wear this on a cold day, even though you could. And this is one I think you can dress up or you can dress down. I really like this fragrance for its, its scent profile, but also its versatility. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. Spring wedding, fall wedding type of scent. Nice sweater and jeans are a nice, um, button down shirt or button up shirt maybe the collar unbuttoned with a nice jacket or blazer and some nice jeans and some nice shoes you know dress casual but you still look nice and, and put together that type of fragrance I, that's what i think this fragrance represents or at least it does to me that's nice and it's aqua de joe's absolute that's a good one this next one this time of the year, everybody's dusting this bottle off, getting it ready, because it's known as one of the best date night fragrances in the world, in Fragcom, especially on a budget, and I can't deny that because it, it is, it, because it is, and it is from the house of Dosi and Gabbana, and it is the one EDP. Now, I have the EDT as well. Don't sleep on the EDT. I think it's just as good, and I know people have complained about the performance on the EDT. Me personally, I get on the ED, yeah, on the EDT. Me personally, I get about six hours out of the EDT, especially when I spray it on my clothes. It works for me, so don't sleep on the EDT. Don't sleep on the EDT. But we're here to talk about the EDP, and every time I move my hand, that amen, comes to life that's just good that's just good to me again i would wear that on a colder cooler cooler night uh more so than, than the 90 degree 85 90 degree part of the day i would wait till the evening or definitely later in the season but that's beautiful now and that giorgio amani amani co absolute i mean Amon giorgio Amani Aqua de Jo Absolute is right here. And it's cutting up too. They both smell really, really good. But this one right here, this one right here. <sighs> Boozy, sexy, romantic, masculine, smooth, inviting, all of that. This fragrance right here. This right here, this right here. It just, it, it, it. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That smells good. I'm gonna say this too while I've got your attention. Five mil decants of any of this, anything that you see in this video, if you want a five mil, de <clears throat> excuse me. If you want a five mil decant, you can get it. You can get it. It'll be fifteen bucks. Um, you, you hit me cash out, I ship it out. So, five mil decants of any of this, anything that I got. If you want to try any of this, hey, I got you. Fifteen bucks, and I will ship. If you don't have this, I do suggest you get it or the EDP or the EDT. Definitely think it is one that you need in your repertoire. Hoodie season coming up. Big boys. 
gotta have this. If you ain't got it, you, you, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. This next one from the house of Mansevra, and I like this one a lot. And it is black to black. I have a hard time saying that. I always want to say back to black. I think that was an album or something. But black to black. And this one is. Oh my gosh, that hey man, I can't. I wish y'all could smell it every time I move. And it was just one squirt that a man is doing what it what a man do. Now this one. Why do I like this one? And again. I, I wear oud in the hotter part of the day. I, I I certainly do. And I get so many compliments on oud fragrances. So many compliments on them. I don't know if it's my if it's my skin chemistry or my body chemistry or what, but I get a lot of compliments on ouds. Now, this one. Why do I like this one? It's a little bit boozy. It has that citrus accord running alongside the oud. And I think that makes it nice. It's got a little bit of lemon and a lot of bit of oud in it. Oh my goodness. That's, whew. <laughs> man this could be signature scent worthy for me and again this one is one i think you could wear really year round really really year round it does smell a little fancy a little sophisticated uh it is going to take an acquired nose or getting used to wearing any type of oud fragrance but i think mansara does oud better than anybody or at least any of the oud fragrances that i have mansara does them better, but this joint right here, man, smooth. Woo. Let me smell it again. I don't even want to spray this on. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. That is nice. That is nice. Very, very wearable oud. Very, very wearable oud. Light oud, citrus. And I told y'all, every time I shoot a video, the train come. Every time I shoot a video. But again, them boys making their money, so. Give it up to Norfolk Southern. They sound so beautiful, don't you agree? All right, this next one. When this one came out, people were saying this was what the predecessor to this fragrance should have been in the first place because this is a flanker from the house of Davidoff. This is Cool Water Parfum. And I like this one when it starts to get cool. I like it, guys. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? Nope. Nope. It ain't even the reinvention of the spoke in the wheel. But is it good? Yep. 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 Oh, and I forgot to mention about the decants. I'm only gonna do one decant per bottle. So it's first come, first serve. I'll give I'll leave my email in the description this time. Or if you want to write it down real quick, it's just like the name is Tracense at gmail.com. T-R-A-S-C-E-N-T-S 75 at Gmail. Very simple. Just like Trace sense, just add 75gmail.com. But I will put it in the link in the description, and I promise you every time I move that A man is cutting up. That is nice. This one though. It's very modern, very ambroxony, very blue, but it's it's also very warm and it has some freshness to it. I could see this being worn in the spring. I could see it being worn in the summer. I would definitely dress this fragrance up and I think you would be okay. It it gives me, and I don't know if anybody else has said this, it gives me a Blue de Chanel type of vibe. Um, I'm not sure which one, whether it's the EDT, the EDP or the Parfum, but a less inciny vibe. 
So if you like Blue de Chanel, but you don't like the incense in it, or if you just like it and you don't like the price, maybe you could pick this up. Maybe you could pick up Cool Water Parfum. But nonetheless, that A-Man is doing what A-Man do, man. Oof. Mm. And I think what makes this one such a versatile fragrance is before it dries down into that nighttime, chill, uh, cuddle type of fragrance, it starts out very bright and effervescent. Then it starts to turn a little bit sweet, nice. That's good, man. That's good. Cool water parfum. Get you a decan of that from Old Trey Sets for fifteen dollars, and that shipping. That's include that, that includes shipping. All right. This next one is one. Again, much like a man, I would wait till it was a little bit cooler. Definitely wouldn't wear this on a ninety degree day. I would wait till the evening time has approached and it, it, cooler, maybe. 70 degrees and down you know depending or if i wore this during the day i would want it to be a gloomy day a rainy day and this is also a flanker and it is from the the house of victor and rolf and it is from the spice bomb line and this is spice bomb infrared and i like this i i like this fragrance i'm not gonna lie it is very that aqua de Joe is cutting up too man all of this i'm smelling right up in here man and i still got a little bit of my center of the day on but you have to turn into a weekly rotation now this i'm gonna be honest i have worn this around one of my lady friends and they did not like it they did not like it but they don't like red tobacco either i think it irritates their eyes or their sinuses or something so um not sure I would wear this on a date or a cuddle type of situation because it does not scream come closer. However, what it does scream is I'm outside, it's night, it's beautiful, the wind is blowing and someone catches a breeze off of me. Red pepper, I think that's what that is. But I'm telling you, I think I got a little bit of my center of the day still on my arm. And these two are mixing together famously. What I wore to work today was a Guamond. And it's mixing well with the spices in this. Oh my goodness. That's good. But I like this fragrance. When I've only worn it maybe once. When I did wear it, it was I had just gotten it and it was in the middle of the winter. And I like it. I like it. I got it from Macari. I got a really good deal on it. And um, I like the whole Spice Bomb line. I think it is excellent. Um, and this is no exception. I like this one as well. Spice Bomb Infrared. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a parfum concentration, an EDP concentration. But this one is not for the weak of heart. Two or three sprays should do you. Um, I wouldn't wear this if I was going to be in a closed up environment and if I did I would definitely not go any more than two or three sprays because the pepper in it is kicking but it does smooth out and it does mellow out but think red hot candy and that's what you got to me this is something really really spicy I like it I like it a lot from the house of Victor and Rolf it is spice bomb infrared and again you can get a 15 mil decan of that for 15 bucks shipped. I'm probably going to do this with any fragrance that I do a video on. If you're wanting to try it, uh, prices will definitely vary. Some prices will go up. Some will be more than $15. Some will be way less than $15. I mean, um, I mean, it just depends. It just depends. This next one is from the house of Viasachi. And I like this fragrance as well. And this is, and I will buy another bottle of this if I get the opportunity. It is Versace Eros. And it's Eros Flame. 
and my levels on this are right here. Seem like I decanted somebody. This is just a 30 mil, and a 30 mil is plenty for me because oh my goodness, oh that's nice. This puts me in the mind of one million parfum though. They're slightly different, but they got the same vibe. So, but this is good. This this is really really good. I need a bigger bottle of that. Maybe by Christmas time, the gift sets will start hitting the store and I can maybe pick up a 200 ml bottle of this for 40 or 50 bucks. I, I would like that a lot. And then I could do something different with this one, like maybe give it away, maybe give it to a coworker or something. Because all my, all my coworkers are into fragrances. But This one, very, very sweet, very masculine, very sexy. Um, I can remember my ex-wife, coming home from work uh, and things like this used to just frustrate me she came home from work and somebody had came in the the doctor's office and they were all the women were clamoring talking about uh how good he smelled and he had on versace's arrows and i'm like versace arrows does smell good but it, that is a basic you know it's a basic frat boy fragrance in my opinion but women like fragrances sometimes i think us men overthink it because we like to be different and we like to be bold and daring and we use our fragrances as a form of expression and it, some fragrances if you're wearing them for women it just doesn't i prefer this five times to arrows um, but arrows is a compliment getter but i like flame better i like flame better but Neither here nor there. But yeah, she came on talking about, yeah, they were. And I asked him what he had on. I said, what do you have on? He had on arrows. I said, arrows? Really? I'm like, what are they, 12? Like, I'm like, what are they, ninth graders or something? I'm just... But this right here, if you have one million parfum, you don't need this. If you have this, you don't necessarily need one million parfum, but they both smell really good. This one is a sweet, sexy date night fragrance to me it screams nighttime not sure why they call it flame because it's not a warm fragrance it's a sweet fragrance but i do like it i do like it all right that's it man these are seven fragrances from my collection that i think would go great this time of the year and i cannot wait to wear them it would go good in that in between time you know just you know different oh that that uh aqua de every time i move now that aqua d is cutting up i love doing videos like this guys but anyway Again, get you a five mil decan of this. I will ship it to you for fifteen dollars. Yeah, and I it, you, the same day you pay is the same day I ship. As long as I get to the post office before four o'clock, I will ship it out to you. As soon as you hit my cash app. So, if you got any questions, feel free to again email me or comment down below, and we'll we'll work it out. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna get off here because you know, I just got off work and them folks on my job been tripping lately, man. When you work with a bunch of females sometimes, it just... But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here, edit, thumbnail it, and get it up so you can see it. Hope you all have had a beautiful, beautiful work week and to take care of yourself. And remember, love yourself. Do something great for just yourself. You deserve it. You work hard. We are men. The world don't really care too much about us or how we feel it's just the way it is so do something for yourself if ain't nobody else told you i love you and i'm proud of you and i appreciate you thank you so much for tuning in to this channel okay all right and if you ever just need to talk hit that email or you can find me on facebook instagram uh tiktok wherever i'm always available just hit that just send me a message and you know we can chop it up and get through it together all right brothers all right that being said, thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. I love you all, and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.